The Science of Soulmates, Explained by Spooky Quantum Entanglement. Did I pique your interest just a little bit with the title? I mean, after all, aren't the terms soulmate and spooky quantum entanglement interesting topics, to say the least? I'm a romantic and a bit of a nerd, so this combination of topics are most certainly up my alley. I have a particular fascination with time and whether or not it truly moves linearly or if it even exists at all. This vlog is all about time and soulmates and spooky quantum entanglement. This is where romance and love meets science and the possibilities of the impossible. Many of the terms and their definitions used in this vlog are complex, arguable, and not easily defined, but in my simplest terms and Wikipedia's, here we go. Time is the indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future regarded as a whole. The truth of the matter is that time is a human concept, which is purely subjective. We use clocks and devices as a means of tracking time, but how fast or how slow and in which direction time moves is individual. We all experience time differently. The true meaning of soulmate is to have known and loved one another in many lives. Death does not separate true love and soulmates will always find their way back to one another. The modern definition of soulmate is more simplistic. Soulmates are two people who are drawn to each other and connect on every level. There is an intensity and passion between soulmates that is difficult, if not impossible, to replicate. Very sciencey, right? So I'm going to try not to lose you here. Spooky quantum entanglement is a physical phenomenon which occurs when pairs or groups of particles are generated, they interact, or they share spatial proximity in ways such that the quantum state of each particle cannot be described independently of the state of the other or others, even when the particles are separated by a large distance. Instead, a quantum state must be described for the system as a whole. Mind blown, right? I mean, spooky quantum entanglement is not for the faint of heart or the easily confused. Everything is made of particles, and that includes human beings. With the knowledge that human beings are made of particles, and applying the theory of spooky quantum entanglement, can we not see the possibility of the connection of two people via their particles? Whether they are sitting right next to one another or in different cities, they are connected and their bodies can react to one another's. They are soulmates in every possible way. Soulmates may not physically be together, whether the separation is due to geographical distance, other relationships, or different timelines keeping them apart, the pull will still exist. Think back on all those times you would feel happy or sad, or your heart would just start racing for some unexplained reason. Those were the times you were feeling most connected to your soulmate. You were feeling each other's emotions. You were reacting to and mimicking the joys and the emotional and physical pains of your soulmate. So what do you call that feeling when you meet someone for the first time, but you feel like you've known them before? Something about them is familiar. Or what about when you keep running into the same person over and over again, as if something, the universe perhaps, is pulling you two together? We have created all of these terms to explain the way they're mysterious. We call events coincidence and we refer to some experiences as deja vu. But are they really? It's more comfortable to dismiss and explain away than it is to question and challenge the accepted. Some might say that I am oversimplifying one of the universe's most complex mysteries. Maybe I am, but that does not make it any less of a possibility. If you believe like I do that nothing is ever truly gone, just changed in form, then you must believe that distance, time, and not even death can separate two people who are connected by the very fiber of their beings. So now I wanna know what you think about this topic. Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm wrong? Prove it. Leave me a comment. Tell me your thoughts.